Welcome guys, my name is Albert and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the legal and financial ramifications of why you shouldn't be dating a single mom, okay? So if you have not already, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos because on this channel I teach you guys how to become better men and how to improve your interactions with women, okay? So let's jump right into this topic. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a strategy of how to date single moms without, the, without actually getting into financial or legal trouble, okay? Because that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to tell you all the legal trouble and the financial trouble that you could get in, possibly get in, if you choose to date a single mom for the long term, okay? So... What are some statistics that you need to understand, right? And when I talk about this, I'm talking about men in the United States, right? I'm talking about us men that live in the United States. If you decide to date a single mother. Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against single mothers, right? Single mothers sometimes are the strongest women around, right? It just maybe something happened. Honestly, maybe something happened. The husband died or through no fault of their own, right? Through no fault of their own, maybe they became single mothers. Yes, there are those instances where the girl was just promiscuous and she opened her legs to every single guy and you know what I'm saying? And she got a baby, right? But there are also this, so, I, but I do want to acknowledge those situations where there are single mothers that, you know, they did everything they could, but you know what? life doesn't sometimes go the way you want it and this is and and she ended up with a kid or two right but that still doesn't change the legal ramifications for a man that is going to choose to date a single mother for the long term and what he is getting himself into and that is what this video is going to talk about okay now here is a scary statistic that, that you need to know as a man in the United States, okay? 30% of men that are put on child support are not the biological fathers of the children. Exactly, I will say that again. 30% of the men that are put on child support by the mother of the child, they are not the biological father of this child. Now, you may ask, ask yourself, wait a minute, how is that possible? It's very possible, my friends. It's very possible. It's a little-known law called the Equitable Parent Doctrine, right? I'll say it again. The Equitable Parent Doctrine. Now, under this doctrine, if the mother of the child can convince the court that you, the guy that was dating her, acted in a fatherly role towards the child, the court can grant her the judgment of making you the legal guardian of that child, whether you like it or not. And this is actually probably maybe after you have broken up with the girl. And in some cases, there have been cases where men have been put on child support and they hadn't even slept with the mother of the child so you want to be very careful when it comes to dating uh single mothers why why is this so right what, who came up with this doctrine well here's the thing the government knows that if no man is put on child support for this child the burden to take care of that child will be placed on the, on the government itself and obviously, the government doesn't want to take on such responsibility. So it's going to find the closest thing to a fatherly figure that they can find for that child to take care of. And this is totally legal. This is totally legal. So you're asking, but how can they prove that you were acting or you had like a fatherly role in this child's life? Very easy. You know... I don't know if you've ever dated a single mother, and I hope you don't. But some of you guys that are planning on dating a single mother, if the single mother lets you 
take the child to school, lets you take the child to dinner, lets you babysit the child. Let's say she goes out and you're at home with the child some days. Let's say sometimes you actually took her and her kid out to a dinner. Maybe you took her and her kid out to the amusement park. What, what is that? And their pictures and stuff like that. She could say that you were acting in the fatherly role. And the court could see that as you being in a fatherly role in that child's life. And even if you are not the biological father, you could be placed on child support. And, a fi and you become a financial responsibility to that child, paying the mom child support. Even though you are not, even though you did not father that child, and even after you have stopped seeing the mother, you will get paid, you, you will end up paying child support for that kid. Now you may be asking yourself, but what happened to the biological father? Well, here's the thing. Like I said, there are some cases where you know, it through no fault of her own. But in most cases, it's the mother decided to spread her legs open for Pookie and Ray Ray. And they're there just, you know, shooting up her club, right? Shooting up her club. And Pookie and Ray Ray, obviously, or even Dirty Dick Rodney, right? Shooting up her club. And these guys aren't really good guys, right? They end up in the jail system, they're unemployed and they can't afford, and she can't afford to put them on child support because if she puts them on child support, she's not getting anything, right? Because they're in the jail system or they're just out of work and they're, or they're just dead, deadbeat dads. The second scenario is maybe the father died or maybe she let Pookie Ray Ray and Dirty Dick Rodney run a train on her and she doesn't actually know who the biological father is. So they can't really put anybody's name on the birth certificate. So there's nobody to pin that child support on until your dumbass comes along and decide, you know what, I'm gonna date this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna date this woman for the long term, right? But you might be saying to yourself, but Albert, you know what, I'll go to court and fight it. Well, great idea, genius. Let me tell you, let me actually tell you now, just, just, just what you would be looking forward to if somebody sues you. And remember, in the United States, you can sue anybody for anything, even if you're innocent, right? Anyone can sue you for anything. So let's say she tries to put you on child support and you don't agree. She can legally sue you. So you go and you say, you know what? I'm going to get a lawyer. Depending on where you, on in what state you are in, a lawyer, a retainer for a lawyer could cost you anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000 dollars just a retainer that's not for this um, depositions and discovery when you when you actually start litigating the case to get to clear your name you could end up paying almost 15 to upwards to 25,000 just to clear your name just to clear your name so now you're down 25,000 for a just trying to clear your name for a kid that is not biologically yours so you don't get to pay child support for a kid that is not biologically yours. Why? Because you decided you wanted to slap some cheeks, right? Or maybe you say, and, and, and here's the thing, that's best case scenario. And, in, and let me tell you, sometimes these single mothers are very tricky. When you're there hanging out with your kids, they're here, they're, they're, they're taking pictures. They're building up a case. If they can build up a good enough case against you in the court of law, that you actually played a fatherly role in that child's life, that first judgment may actually go against you, right? It might actually go against you. And then you might have to appeal. That's another 25,000. That's another 25,000 on top of the 25,000 from the first case to appeal the second case, to appeal the first case, right? So now you're down 50,000. We're not even talking about child support yet. 50,000, if let's say, Second time you appeal, fifty thousand. You've gone away from paying child support, but you're down fifty thousand. But Albert, you know what? I'm just, I'm just not gonna show, show up to court. Screw it. You know what? If you get served the petition, right? If you get served those papers, noun, and you don't show up for court, they will file a default in your name 
against you and she will get child support. So as long as you live in the United States, you will be put on child support, right? For that, for dating that single mother and acting in a fatherly role for that child, right? So that's why I always tell you guys, look, right? And that, and that rule again is equitable parent doctrine. Go look it up for yourself if you don't believe me, okay? That's why I tell you guys, stay away from single mothers. If you, if you decide that you want to take on, that you just, you just love this woman, just know that what you're getting yourself into, you know? This channel is just not about dating. This channel is to help you guys improve your lives as men, okay? So look, you want to stay away from single mothers as much as possible. If you hear that she has a kid, hey, be like, you know what, girl? I'm cool. You know what? Just take care, handle your business. Um, but I can't continue. I can't continue this interaction with you. But as I promised, right? As I promised in the beginning of the video, I will give you a strategy for dating a single mom if you want to make sure that you keep yourself safe. As always. The best way to avoid it, it, the best way to solve an issue is if you can avoid it, avoid it. But let's say you see a woman, it's gorgeous, you guys are going out on a couple of dates. Here's what you do. You have to set your boundaries. It might seem mean, but you have to let this woman know that you do not want anything to do with her kid. You don't want to see the kid. You don't want the kid to be on any dates. You do not want to be in Six, you don't want to be even be in the proximity of the kid. Any way of connecting you to this kid, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know that she has a kid. She shouldn't even tell you about the kid. Now, this might seem harsh, but you are saving your ass in the long run. If she can, if she can deal with it, then you guys can date. There's no way that she can prove that you were acting in a fatherly role towards the child because you have never seen the child. You can just assume that... I never thought she had a child, right? But that's one way you, 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 could, you, you could go around it. But like I said, you want to do, you want to take preventative measures, right? And if, and if the woman says, no, my child, you have to get to know my child for you to date me. Well, the deal's off. You, you have to cut this woman off. Because in that case, she's not looking to date you. She's looking to put you on child support. And you don't want to do that. Guys, that is the video for today. Do me a huge favor and do yourself a huge favor and your friends a huge favor. Share this video with someone that needs to hear it, okay? This video is very important for men, especially if you live in a country that, that believes or follows the equitable parent doctrine, okay? Please, share this video with men that need to hear it. Guys, that is the video for today. Like the video. Any comments that you guys have, leave it for me in the comment sections below. Any questions you have, again, leave it in the comment sections below. I love interacting with you guys. With that, I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.